Hey, welcome back. It's a sport with millions of fans all over the globe, and for 30 years, top sporting officials have continued to campaign to prove that their sports deserve an Olympic status. Inline skating needs no introduction, certainly. The biggest news to date for this sport will break next week. That is whether it will finally get the green light from the IOC to be included in the 2012 Olympic Games. And as part of our week series on the 2012 Olympic bid, this morning we have, as usual, our sportsmaster, Raj Kuma of 938 Live. The sports master, I like that. Well, joining him Good morning, this morning as well as our special guest, Sandy Snakenberg as well, an inline guru who's been skating for more than 25 years. He's also competed in more than, no less than 200 inline competitions worldwide. And he currently holds the record for the <laughs> longest distance in the 24-hour inline race event. Whew. Well, i got to correct you on that. Uh, it it was, has been broken since. All right, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Sandy, you're a good guy. So what happens now? Uh, high, it's, is it high time that roller sports be introduced? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we've been lobbying for this uh, since uh, skating was roller skating. And uh, now that inline skating has come into play, uh, the speeds have gotten faster, the spectator watchability of it is, is beautiful. I mean, the sport is power masked by grace. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that it's high time that uh, uh, speed skating, hockey, inline roller sports be involved in the Olympics. Um, the, the level of competition and the uh, um, quality of athletes rate up there with Olympic sports. You're for it, I can definitely I'm tell. Def <laughs> Pretty uh, good in those skates. Um, your height does not affect that, I'm just asking. Um, many people think that my height is an advantage, and in actuality, it has to do with the power generated into the ground. Um, I'm better suited for longer distance races, yes. Um, I'm not a sprinter, but um, I'm a good team player. Uh, a lot of times these events uh, are not only individual, such as the sprints, as, as Raj mentioned, but also more distance events uh, becomes more of a team aspect. Um, I was always the domestique or the uh, horse, you know, where I'd pull my team members because I'm a big guy. I generate a lot of drag. Now, which organization is pushing for the stand? Is FERS, you said? Uh, FERS. What's that stand for? Federation of International Roller Sports. And you also were telling us earlier how many different organizations are involved in inline uh, sport, uh, well, roller sports. Is that right? Um, FERS is the uh, main governing body, but yeah. you also have, uh, like, uh, USEC out of uh, the United States. Uh, every country has its own how governing body. How many altogether? Line. Oh, God. Hundreds. Uh, of um, you were comparing it to ice skating, I think. Yeah. The, there are more... Um, organizations than in uh, ice skating because it is more accessible. Um, many countries, such as Singapore, you know, uh, has a very small ice skating rink. We, we, don't, we can't have an ice speed skating team. Um, uh, also, countries in Africa, you know, it's more accessible. Impression is a recreational sport. It's, it's more, like, but, yeah, it, and it's an extreme it's for sport. for young to, people. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the impression at least we have, and I would think that might be a stumbling block, perhaps. Well, Running is a recreational sport. Cycling is a recreational sport. Swimming is a recreational sport. These are all sports and activities that any, of, any one of us can do. Now, as a child, when I used to watch the Olympics, I would be inspired by the sprinters, and I'd go outside and pretend I'm a sprinter. You know? Everybody has the capacity to aspire you know, to that goal. Uh, in regards to the amount of skaters, there are over 7 million speed skaters and over 70 million skater, skaters in the world. So there's a huge pool to draw from. So, okay, if we have a competition, how would it be? Uh, like, uh, you know, um, lifting weights would be according to your weight category for this? Age category? How Age categories, Age primarily. Categories. Yeah, because um, as far as lifting weights goes, it, it has to do with the application of the power. You know, my geometry is going to be different than somebody who's shorter. Okay, and somebody shorter is going to be de better suited for sprinting because they can generate higher RPMs. Um, but uh, age categories would primarily be the uh, 